Well, right now we are on another feedback. Let's go. Another chest of feedback. Now we are going to work on to this pick right here. I like a lot of reflection that you did and the fur. The fur is looking outstanding. Amazing. I truly love what you did here. The nose too. But now let's get into fixing points. Things that can be improved. First of all, now let's not zoom in too much. And now we are going to just focus on, hey, maybe this fur could get a little bit more fluffy. How can we do that? Make it more smooth. Low opacity here. Yeah. Making all the details here a little bit more smooth. We want them smooth. Here the side, very fluffy. Not many strong lines blocking the way, not many. More focused on being fluffy. These lips, lips, they can be a little bit darker, this area. Why they can be darker? Because of the main format here, it's going to be a little bit darker. I also form those little lines getting out, because on those little lines, you can see like the line of dots that the fur, the, the whis whiskers, whiskers get out. For the nose, there is going to be a very strong reflection happening right here. You can see that I did this one and this one following the direction of the sun. I like the reds here, but I think they can get less saturated. Yeah, less saturated. Less. And tongues, they are very soft. Extremely soft. So when I say that, it means that it's going to have an amazing gradient happening here. Amazing gradient. And also reflection from all of this blue happening here. Up here is going to have a very bright fur. Especially for the angle of the sun. We're not going to be able to see a lot of those details. But it's going to be pretty much like, hey, I'm bright. I'm brighter. For this angle of the sun, there is going to be shadow right here. I believe there is a reflection in the glasses that can be done. Reflections that are mainly in the corners, you know? Let me show right here. I'm selecting the corners, which is great. Focusing a bright tone and then I start making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this time the other reflection is going to be a little bit more turned into blue. Because of the rays of the sun. Right here. You do a ray. Yeah, you pretty much do a ray right here. And you can do the same at the other side. This fur is red, but it cannot be the same red everywhere inside. This area here, you're gonna be receiving a brighter red. I believe it's from the charter that all of his hair right here is going to the sides. But if it's a normal charger, it would be going up and then down and then vanishes. Okay? Nose on canines tend to be a little bit wet. So remember, if it's something that's wet, it's going to have a reflection. And if it's going to have a reflection, we are going to make that like picking all the colors around it. We are going to pick any color that we feel like. Yeah, we're gonna pick that color. Like an example here, it's blue. So we're going to pick that blue and apply up here. There is the reflection of the sky in the nose. Yes, there is. Since the sky is blue, the shadow here is not going to be pure red. It's going to go a little bit more into blue. In other words, the shadow is going to be a little bit more into purple. Yeah, purple. Remember, when you put opposite colors, warm versus cold, you lose the saturation. We 
You can use a warmer tone if you don't want to go into green. If you're like, nah, that's too cold. You can go into both. Making part of your shadows. Warm and part of your shadows. Cold. But this side, nah, nah, nah. There is the reflection from here, this yellow. Let me show this amazing effect. You do like a zigzag thing. Yeah, zigzag. And also here, darker. You get darker, you are down. And the sun is up. And here in the head, not everything here is going to be that bright. Let us do some gradient. You can always, always do some hair strands. Just being crazy and going out of the main thing. Here are only some strong parts, only some. You gotta be careful to not do too much, especially because it's receiving the sun almost like directly. So the drink, since it's taking all the light here from the sun, it's going to reflect the light of the drink into this chick's lips chick lip I, that mid part it's going to have that reflected right here right here right now right here i can just copy this teeth copy paste but here, click here, and then flip horizontal. Now I have the other teeth, and I don't really need to draw that. Much more simple. This thing here is green. We can do a stronger green, especially because there is drink passing through here. On certain places, even better, even, even better. But the teeth down here, I gotta change it. First things first. Here's the middle. Middle area. Okay, we already know where is the middle area. So now we go in here. We do like one teeth here. One. One. We got two. Three. Four. And now we start doing bigger teeth. Not so big, not so big, still not so big. Five and six. And now we do the big one. Now it's the big, big one. Ooh. We're gonna be adding some effects. About the drink, I think there can be some darker colors. I know it's yellow. Oh my, I saw that it was on the ultimate saturation. Oh my. But we can do some darker colors. We can use them. Here and here. And also here in the corner. And here in the corner. White. We need white to show the reflection between the ice cube. Now we're gonna be adding some uh, soft, soft light. Yeah, let's get into orange. I changed my brush mode into soft light. I, uh, I choose a dark orange, very dark, dark orange, like brown. And I'm adding on the borders. A little bit more into reddish tones. Here, this area. We're going to add a little bit of darker places in the corner. Saturated, right? Not exactly darker, but saturated. And here, reflect a little bit of the drink. 
Yeah, reflect drink. Chaz, yeah, so your fur is already excellent. Your rendering is already excellent. I think Shadows and Light is the biggest go-to here. And also understanding how Light and Shadow they change depending on the surface. You already understand very clearly how it works on fur. Now I believe you gotta understand better how it works on more wet surfaces or more reflective surfaces like the glass here or the nodes, the tongue, these places. You can see that the reflection here is much different than what happens in the fur. And here too, we can see a lot of blue parts. There's reflects in here. It reflects perfectly. But you're 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 improving fast, girl. You're improving fast, fast as freak, girl. We can make the light getting out of the glasses, just because we're like, yo, we cool. We are cool. We can. Yeah, we can. <laughs> This is a great feedback. It's pretty much localization of shadows and light and how they work. Like, hey, I'm more soft here. Hey, I'm more rough here. Hey, surface thing and which color you're going to select. Just like we did here, the purples. Changing the color you select changes how your artwork looks. I see that this is gonna be a very old scenery with a lot of fog and everything very like, whoa, spooky. But what I see missing here the most is the fine silhouettes. Some places are calling much more attention than others, as an example. Me just looking here from far away, I'm seeing these four things here much more strong than the rest of the light hitting here. All the light hitting here is not, it's not so strong, but in those four things, it's strong. So I would be saying, hey, why not make all of them go together? But not only that. They gotta go together, yes, but... We also need to make the silhouette very well defined. I don't recommend at any moment, in any moment, doing the silhouette like this. A line that you did, like, swoosh. I really recommend you taking your time and going and doing the straight line. Straight line. And then just picking and adding shadows. And then you add the ambient light. Come on, come here, come here. Yeah, ambient light. You see the difference? Look at this, look at this, look at the difference. I'll adjust a random line. Wow. We did it straight with light, with shadows and ambient light. I could be doing that in the full scene, but that's pretty much what I see missing here and also following dimensions of things another example here these candles these two candles here are much more thicker than this other one and we cannot see clearly what is happening here or down here yeah i i feel that it's missing a part here because we can see a part here but we don't really see the rest i feel like there's something going down here yeah but we just don't see it I believe this is some kind of a little bit of photo bashing, is it? This picture here really reminds, reminds me of a photo bashing. But we always gotta be careful and not let those things happen. Do our straight lines. All of them. There are some lines that make me question here. If there is light coming from the window, which of course the windows should be showing like pretty well about them format and everything there would be a light reflecting here isn't it i see a lot of light here red warm brown but it's close to the window so it's not going to receive that strong strong warm color but now we have a competing system there is the light coming from here and the light from here we gotta choose one to be weaker and one to be the strongest 
especially because this is not those duality drawings, you know, like Pokemon Red versus Pokemon Blue, and both churches are like facing each other, like <laughs> both are strong colors. Since this is a full scene, a full environment, there's going to be places stronger, there's going to be places weaker. Another thing that I notice here is there is light here. And it looks like a very neutral light happening here. And it makes me question, why neutral? So we should be adding those lights here from the window. Yeah, there are places that are confusing. Like here, how is how is it keep going? And here is getting very small. Okay, I'm going to do the window stronger than this chandelier. There's probably some kind of window here. So here is where the blue light's coming from. Yeah! Yes! Yes. Only if there's like a gigantic fireplace here. It would be reddish. Warm, 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 warm. I'm not going to do the silhouette of everything, but the main thing that I noticed, as I said, was doing the rendering on everything. Very well done, taking your time. Those lines here, the books, taking your time. You can just do a f one line and then copy and paste the rest and do small changes in it. That's a great way, by the way. Arm calls are not going to be the main point here. They're going to be like, oh, they exist. The blue ones are going to be like, ha ha, careful, careful there. Reflection from the window here. Very random, very good, very amazing. What if we try some curves? Let's try some amazing, interesting curves. Blue, of course, we're gonna start with blue. Wow, green, no, <laughs> no, no green here. can if you want to make it even more like everyone is freaked up you know what i mean like it's a very dark dark scene you can even make the lights dark but i'm not gonna lie that i really like the red ones the red ones are like pure joy the red ones are pure pure joy Look at the difference that we have already done. Of course, I'm focusing my mind into, hey, I want people to be scared, to be like, oh. But if it's a brighter place, we could just pick this one, <laughs> pick brightness and contrast and go crazy and do like, hey, this is day. <laughs> That's pretty much something that we could be doing. But our focal here is to make everyone scared. A little bit of light also coming from here. Because we decided out of nowhere that it's going to be a window here. So we just do out of nowhere the window here. This place here is going to get a little bit, just a little bit warmer. Just a little, a little, a little. I said little. It was very warm. And it's fine if it's the way you want the, the game to be, but it's going to be less scarier. It's going to be less scarier. But the more you turn into blue, oh my. Dad hung me, I'm scared. I'm scared. We can also add some gray levels. We can just skip here some gray levels. Yeah, we can. It really depends on the game, the concept of the game, that you want it to be the main focal point. 
As an example, you're creating a game and you want the person that is playing the game to pay more attention to the door they gotta go. So I'm going to make this door much stronger, much brighter. Or they gotta go down. I'm going to make this chandelier, this thing full of fire, much more stronger. Thinking as an example, I want people to look more into this door and want to go to this door. I would be doing this light here from the chandelier, not as strong like how it is right now. And doing the door light stronger as how it is right now. Because if you look from far away, the light here is calling much more attention than the one here. But if you don't want your player to go anywhere, you just, just make everything dark black. Nothing is really so important. But I want to make this point here the point everybody's looking at, so that's the point. Victoria Moura, please tell me if it helped you. Doing my very best to all of you champs. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to help you doing a paint over, or a review, or anything like that. Thank you for being in my life. Well, and I'll be seeing you champs in the next one. Bye bye.